Right, I think we're running. Yeah, so um, uh, our controller arrived about 10 minutes ago by parcel force, so I'm just going to bring it in. I think it's all okay. Um, I'm going to uh, open. This is the first time I've seen this too. Because it literally only arrived not long ago. So um, let's have a look. Now I've chosen a new mark one. Not that new mark is a very good new mark. When I was um, doing DJing, was about, but wasn't classed as very good. It was sort of entry level, but this. Um, I chose this one for a particular reason, and that was the touch sensitive um, touch sensitive knobs, which to me was a great idea, especially because I used to like messing around with equalization. And this, if you press the equalization knob, it's touch sensitive. It actually cuts it out, so it brings it back to nothing. So if you've got full bass on, and you suddenly want a couple of bars with no bass, you press the button. You just touch the button. Touch the knob on top. Which I found, you know, absolutely unique. So they've gone up in my estimation like mad. Now, you can buy a refurbished one of these for, I think it was 459 459 might have been 549 if I can't remember but have a look on eBay this is the NV2 so this is the new mark NV2 obviously an upgrade from the NV and it was that popular the new mark basically if um, the YouTube one of the YouTube videos said that if something doesn't work out they will not carry it on but this appears to Everyone seems to think this is great. So that's why we've um, I've decided to have a go. If I don't like DJing, I can always give up. I'm not going to... Now, obviously I'm too old to be a DJ. Or some would say, no you're not. There's lots of old DJs around. But I'm going to be a home DJ for the time being. I'm not going to... Um, uh, I'm not going to do any clubs or anything, although I've worked in lots of nightclubs. Um, I was usually doing something easy, like collecting glasses, <laughs> or pressing light buttons to flash light shows. So yeah, remember to recycle everything. I, I use always reuse bubble wrap. So I'm always very careful how I get it off. Um, just say to you buying rolls of bubble wrap basically and it all goes to landfill and uh, so there we go okay, so that's, that's how you would buy it but this lady who was selling this on eBay basically said she bought it on a whim uh, lots of people get them home I've got no idea I've, I've got a rough idea because not only have I worked with two decks before normal decks and, and faders but um, I've done a lot of research on YouTube too, which I suggest you did as well. Now, don't be put off by the fact that they're very, very complicated these days. Um, I was quite amazed at what this one does. Another reason why I chose this is because it's got the two screens, one screen for each deck. So you don't have to keep looking at your laptop. Um, so remember that. Uh, so... But yeah, and, and, unless you're going to be absolutely deadly serious, you know, Pioneer seems to be the leader, but everyone else is snapping at their heels. So they've either got to keep up, but Newmark seems to come out with the innovations. So that's why I've chosen this one. There's touch sensitive, a lot of other touch sensitive stuff too. 
want to be careful with this box in case uh, I have to send it off again. So yeah, I always keep all my boxes. If you've got a loft space, keep them up in the loft. I don't know why that won't open. Very strange. I know there's a lot of... Um, Really, really tough for some reason. Oh, it's because oh, I can see why. Yeah, they have to come down first. Silly. Right. There we go. All wrapped up nicely still. Now this one was four hundred, including postage. So I've immediately saved myself one hundred and fifty-nine by going on to. Um, USB cable, that's all it is, a USB cable and a power supply, that's all you need for this. You don't need any, um, unless you're going to plug it into a, a big amplifier. But these will have got line outs for quite a few things. Remember to be careful with all your packing. Yes, now this looks yeah, pretty much new, like she said. Now if I bring that up close, yeah, so basically, can you see that? Yeah, yeah. so it, um, there's a few finger marks and things on it, but apart from that, uh, some of these, sometimes the, the white lines are rubbed off, where the people have been going, you know, fact, uh, doing stuff. Jog wheels, now these apparently are touch sensitive, they learn, uh, learn what you're doing as well, um, learn your style. Um, there's your, now that changes the, the tempo of the song so you can slow it down and, and speed it up and that can so you can match it to this deck and I think most um, most DJs know that already but we didn't have those I remember the the Pioneer SL1210 deck was the one everyone wanted because it had these big faders so you've got a lot of range there and now the new controllers have got these arrows that tell you which way to go to match it up so there's, there's all there's, that's as far as I know so far anyway that's the cross fader that just fades from one to the other so if you've got music on there that you've got the two um, faders up you can immediately go bang to that one um, yeah EQ so all these are that's gain so that's the volume outside so that you can match the two decks with the volume so you've got a gain there um, you've got treble, mid and bass, which is your little EQ, one for each track. These outside ones, three and four, you can plug other stuff in. So, um, oh, it's got XLR outs. That's good because my amplifiers down here have got XL, XLR too. And I've got plenty of cables for those. Yeah, so that there's all the usual stuff, but now you've got these things to do effects within the song as well and obviously the filter which is the bit when you're building up to a big bass beat you go chuk, 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 like that right the, down or up and then bang for the next one but we didn't do any of that I've seen all that on YouTube recently so we're going to try all that and um, yeah effects units uh, there you go, there's lots of stuff um, deck on uh, these are all touch sensitive as well, we've got buttons on, so you don't have to, you can find your track and then select it just by pressing the button, which I found amazing. You don't have to look at the laptop, on most of them that haven't got these screens, you have to look at the laptop. But there's also bars going along as the track's playing for you to um, see where you are. On the computer, on Serato, I've noticed there's the whole track and then there's the track going past in the window where you are at that point. So you can do all your cue points and things. Cue point is just if you've got a track and realise uh, there's only one bit you want, you can set, you can save the track with its cue points already, and they come as lines on the on the actual bit you want. So you can say go straight to cue point, go to the first cue point. That's the beginning of a track. Uh, start it and then go bang, and it's in. So yeah, there's um there's a lot. So anyway, that's it.
what have we got? We've got input. So if that's that's input for um, uh, another device into this, say, onto, onto channel four. Um, USB, you know, we need that. That plugs it into the computer with that power cord just, that cord I just showed you. Power on. Uh, yeah, transformer in, which is um, the plug on that transformer. It's all pretty well. There's a microphone socket. Um, yeah, there's lots of stuff. So they've even got a um, earth. I suppose some places might need that. I don't know. Uh, master left and right, booth left and right. So you, you can. Um, that's for your little speakers either side while you're practicing. And then that's a probably about it. And on there we've got a program, an on-off, uh, minimum and maximum. Now I have to find out what all that is as we go. But this is the NV2. Uh, NV hasn't got those little twos next to it, obviously. Uh, and there's quite a few little different, subtle differences from the NV. So it might be wise to have a look on YouTube. What would time we got to? Yeah. And see um, what it's like. Very quite a heavy, quite well built item too. So yeah, that's that's the controller anyway. So that has to plug into your laptop. This this particular one. Some of them got two screens. You put your USB stick in, and uh, you don't need a laptop. But um, laptop's good because you've got a big screen, basically, and you can have it quite close to you. You see DJs with a laptop all the time. So, um, yeah, so this is the start of the journey. Uh, doesn't look, you know, once you've checked out a few YouTube videos on these, um, these aren't so complicated as they, they, everything looks. So don't be put off by that. Um, yeah, the rest of it's timing. Now you see, right, thanks a lot. And I'm going to do the laptop next. And then we'll do the plugging in, uh, setting up with this with the laptop uh, at a later date. Thank you very much.